The name of our exhibit, Dream, Achieve, Inspire, is dedicated to Billy Crose, who convinced me in his very gentle way, if I could dream of a healthy, full life for my daughter, I could achieve it. And perhaps I was meant to inspire other people. I sort of always wanted to be an artist. That's what I wanted to be. I love to do pictures of animals and dogs stuff because they express happiness. I do a couple different ki kinds of arts and I, I do get the, you know, I, I get lost in it. Whether it's comic books or video games or just a painting or something, if somebody can escape into that. Singing helps me like express my emotion. I started doing um, essays and poetry and I kind of just, whenever I would do that, I would feel a sense of peace. I consider like my artist side to be food. I um, really love to be creative with you know different flavors and uh, platings and things like that. Everyone is, a, is the same and I think the disease and the art have drove me to that point. Great thing that a human being can have doing things with their hands. Cystinosis and art um, have always been a part of my life. I had met a young man at the CRN conference in Atlanta. His name is Billy Cross. Billy always had a kind of an artistic, artistic side, always had really neat drawings and things like that. He had um, parts of his life that cystinosis didn't touch, and drawing was one of those. He had the demeanor of, you know, life's hard, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. It's, everything's fine for I'm going, what I'm going through. We have 30 countries involved, 107 artists, and it has been an absolute joy to organize this. It was really neat the more and more people that got involved and the more responses we got, the more exciting it got. It's bringing, bringing to light all of these different skills that, that people with cystinosis have. Uh, the artwork that we have here in this exhibit, actually there are three works from Mexico. Uh, mine is just, uh, it's a picture, picture of, about my family, my wife, that I think it's a very important thing in my life. And my artwork is about my dog, Gordon, who I love, and um, I really thought of him, and he makes me happy when I get home. My painting is called Layers of Love. The human body is layers. You're emotional, you're happy, and you're sad. And so with Layers of Love, um, it's very abstract of colors and, and shapes, but smack in the middle without even doing it on purpose. I found the way that I turned the painting, there was a heart. I just kind of conceptualized what, when I was a kid growing up with cystinosis, what would be something that would kind of change my perspective on taking the medication. So I turned it into this uh, idea for like a superhero comic. The name of my piece in the show is Big City, and it inspires me because I made it in my art class at school. It made me feel good because when I went to go look at my art, I heard someone say, um, I like this one, the big city. It's called Blight, and it's a flower that I made with glue and pastels. There's a guy named um, Lee who has cystinosis, and I really like his, um, his fruit sculpture that he made, he is a glass blower. My artwork is based in nature and about the human body. A lot of times I do a lot of organs and things out of glass that you don't normally see out of glass. I go out hiking all the time and I entered a photograph of a mushroom, took a picture of right when we came into Yellowstone with the Grand Tetons. And My artwork for this exhibit is a poem. Um, I just recently started dabbling in um, painting which I really like because with my poems I've always felt like I was drawing a word picture, but sometimes I feel like there's things inside of me that the English language just doesn't even touch. My art artwork, it's called uh, Frequency of Love. It's uh, a poster and uh, a video, and the idea is kind of based off of the uh, 528 hertz, uh, which it's, it's supposed to, if you listen to like a pure tone of it, it it's supposed to heal your, do a bunch of different things, like heal your DNA and um, put you like in touch with the universe. Some of my favorite things that I saw would have to be the shell that was made out of the medicine that she had 
that she had to take for stenosis. It's really cool to think about like there's like adults that are have the same disease as us but they're living their dream and I want to do that too. It's incredible that these patients have uh, uh, many many things to express to the people. I think it's only going to grow I mean with the amount of the community, the amount of, of networking that everyone's been doing, it's only getting easier. The community's only getting more tight-knit. I love the fact that it's going to be traveling the world with all these other conferences because we all have that connection. We're all a family. A bunch of artists, adults and little kids, are going around the world to create something. And it's to share their voice, so not someone who's just a person with a disease. They can't do things. They want to express what they can do. You have a voice, and you should speak out and you should show that you have a talent. It's made me have a connection with people that you know I've never met or anything, but that's kind of what art does, so. It's an awesome thing, and it makes you strong and healthy. So, so I really like that. Life is worth living, if, even if I have a rare disease. Bam, it's power. This art exhibit is power.